So we're nearly at the end of NMI 3.2, four years of efforts which started back in 2012 and finishes in January next year. The project was 50% access, that was providing beam time to European scientists to perform experiments at national facilities. It's very important for those countries that don't have sources, it also ensures a high degree of mobility within the neutron scattering community and, and in fact helps to uh, produce a thriving uh, dynamic neutron scattering community in Europe. We also have very important networking activities in this project. As always there are schools to provide an educational platform. This is supplemented too with an e-learning activity which is like a MOOC massive open online course. Neutron is very important because universities are not teaching systematically uh, neutron scattering uh, to undergraduates, master's students and postgraduates. In networking there was also activities to harmonize access, make it easier for people to access different facilities. This goes hand in hand with mobility. Uh, software is a key issue these days. We're producing more data. Data on its own is no good. We need scientific results and that's what the software uh, output is. And industry. Industry is of growing importance to us. We're no longer just doing uh, pure research. It's research and innovation. We've had uh, two industry events uh, where we've interacted with industry as a potential user of neutron scattering facilities and also an event with industry as a supplier. The JRAs are very important. They bring together the uh, research and development activities of the facilities. Traditionally we've had activities for muon spectroscopy and detectors. De detectors is crucial at the moment or in a crucial phase as helium-3 supplies uh, are very limited and ESS in particular needs large-scale detectors uh, for the instrumentation that it's building. And that technology seems to be mature, thanks in part to the work going on in NMI 3.2. Uh, so the other uh, JRAs concern techniques like imaging and uh, soft matter. Soft matter is a growth area for neutron scattering, an important area for potentially for working with industry in the future. The same is true of imaging. It's a direct space method which is very easy to understand and apply and it benefits in the case of neutrons from the unique properties of neutrons in terms of penetrating matter. It was also an instrumentation JRA to exploit the uh, very high intensity beams that will be uh, produced at ESS.